Hello friends, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we will be discussing how one can become a DevOps engineer. So this is the main topic and the main motto of this video. So many guys today are trying to switch uh, to DevOps profile, uh, maybe from Linux admin or from Windows background, from any other background, from Azure admin background, they are trying to switch to uh, DevOps profile. So in this video, I will be discussing the tools and tech stacks which you need to learn in order to uh, successfully become a DevOps engineer so let's start so here as you can see i've created a list of tools so i will be starting one by one so you need to know these tools uh, before you start applying for devops jobs okay so the first tool comes here first not the tool i would say the environment the operating system is linux so you need to have basic understanding at least with basic understanding of linux os so in linux like there are different uh, distributions like uh, ubuntu and uh, centos fedora so i would suggest you can go with ubuntu or centos you can take any one of them you are not restricted to only one distribution you can definitely take uh, all the distributions as well but here i am talking about the minimum requirements so minimum you need to know at least basic understanding of linux and that uh, can go with ubuntu or centos you can take pick any one of them so by basic understanding of linux i mean you need to know the basic commands how uh, move operations work file operations appending files creating files deleting files uh, looking for the network statistics and uh, disk related operations so all these things you need to know in linux so this is the first tool first uh, i mean to say operating system which you need to know it's very important and whenever you are applying for a devops job uh, every uh, hiring manager will ask for this operating system so definitely uh, go through linux and then up start applying for devops jobs now let's move on to cloud the very important part so we have major majorly aws azure gcp and these are the main three cloud providers in market so i would suggest you can go with aws or azure because these are the two cloud providers which are basically uh, taking majority of the market so you can definitely go with aws or azure if still you are confused between aws and azure i would say aws so you need to know definitely for sure you need to know these cloud providers before you start applying for devops jobs you can choose any one of them as i told in AWS, like you need to know AWS services, or if I talk about Azure, you need to know about IaaS services, IaaS services. Okay, so you can follow any YouTube tutorial. There you will, uh, like they will explain the cloud provider in detail. I will not go much deeper into that. Now the third thing is the networking part. So networking is also very important uh, when you start applying for DevOps jobs. So in networking, uh, I would say just uh, uh like you should you should know basic network troubleshooting steps because devops engineer should definitely know these things network troubleshooting dns related uh issues okay so all these issues you need to know like all these uh, concepts and like uh, topics you need to know before you start applying so at least you should know uh, basics of networking I will mention that you can note it down basics of networking you need to know this and now again the most important part which is programming and scripting so you can again go with programming in program let's talk about programming first in programming you can choose python and in scripting you can choose bash shell power shell so definitely programming language and scripting language is very important as a devops uh, so if you read out this name devops uh, the first three words signifies dev which means development so definitely you need to know any programming or scripting language uh, programming language as i told python it's most widely used by devops engineers so you can go with that also you can go with <coughs> go language but i would still recommend going with python and the next if you are going with scripting then these are the three uh, com uh, i would say scripting language 
you can choose any one of them and start uh, practicing and the next is ci tool ci tool is continuous integration tool so jenkins is most widely used ci tool you can go with that you can take azure devops also into consideration but azure devops is kind of a platform in which you get the ci plus cd and the test plans and so it's uh, like combination of couple of features ci plus cd plus version control plus testing but yeah, uh, Jenkins is more in demand when compared to Azure DevOps. So you can choose any one of them and start learning. And again, version control, definitely you can go with Git. Mostly uh, companies are using Git only. Other other version control like sub Bitbucket, Bitbucket can also be used. But I would suggest go with Git. That is simple and that is widely used. And seventh point is miscellaneous like configuration management tool apache tomcat infrastructure and as code tool so i have like included these categories into miscellaneous because these are not as much important as the above six so i would say if you are new and like if you're newly trying to switch to devops engineer so just concentrate on these six topics and if you get time if you are interested to learn more then definitely you can go with i infrastructure as code tool like terraform and arm templates so you can choose any one of them again terraform and arm templates but i would still recommend going with terraform it's most widely used when compared to arm templates and apache tomcat is again a web server you can learn that as well configuration management tool like ansible so seventh point needs to be considered when only you have extra time left and you are interested to explore further then and it's not as much important as above six so you have to give a priority to these six points so let's come back configuration management tool like ansible chef puppet again i would recommend ansible which is easier when compared to chef and puppet and wide most widely used okay you can just pause this video and note these uh, uh, points and like you can start now let's come to the advanced section in advanced section i have uh, included uh, containerization and orchestration containerization can be done using docker everyone knows so like uh, i have seen in opera.com as well if one is applying for uh, devops job the companies are asking that you should know uh, docker so this is like uh, kind of advanced so i have included it in the advanced section but once you are done with these six topics or once you're done with these seven topics then you can start learning docker okay because learning if you're learning docker you should know at least basic of cloud basics of networking basic linux commands you should know then only you should proceed with learning docker so you can definitely proceed with that docker after you have completed the above and orchestration is obviously kubernetes cluster which is a very famous container orchestration tool so you can after learning docker you have to go with kubernetes cluster don't start learning kubernetes straight away without learning docker so you have to follow these uh, in uh, steps linux cloud net these can be shuffled but definitely you need to know docker then only go with kubernetes cluster otherwise you will not understand kubernetes now the last and not much important is monitoring which can be done using different tools prometheus grafana so you can simply watch some youtube tutorials for prometheus grafana data talk and various <coughs> monitoring tools are there you can choose any one or any two of them and start learning so that is not much important but yeah these things are very important and again these two are also important so like this is a short video and these are the tools and tech stacks which you can start learning let's cover one more thing in this video itself sources to learn from where you have to learn these tech stacks so for basics i would suggest go to youtube youtube you can even watch my youtube tutorials i've created a couple of youtube tutorials on azure and some concepts are there azure and azure devops concepts are there so you can definitely uh, watch my youtube tutorials so for only for basics you can go to youtube once you gain the basic understanding you can simply start reading blogs okay 
go to github and do some bad typing do some hands on okay so after you're done with your basics on youtube you can definitely start reading some blogs so that you will get a more deeper insight into the concept and then you can start uh, uh, doing a hands-on hands-on can be done using github so if you go to github if you go to google and type uh, practical labs github and followed by the uh, tech stack you are learning so you can definitely find you will find uh, many uh, practical tutorials many practical sessions on github so you can simply uh, follow them okay so yeah this was a short video if you need uh like more details on the sources and i will create a separate video for that as of now this is it and thank you for watching bye bye